As we come live on the air today, we have breaking news that Aiden O'Connell officially will be placed on injured reserve, forcing him to miss at least the next four to six weeks as he is healing from a fractured thumb, which he suffered against the Los Angeles Rams loss just last night. This means that Gardner Manchu has been elevated back up into the starting position and his performance against the Rams was abysmal and terrible and horrible and we can look forward to the same types of performance for him going forward, which means that a young Carter Bradley could have a shot to take over this team as QB1. Also, I've noticed that 67% of you still aren't subscribed. I've said this multiple times. I don't know why you're not subscribed yet. If you love the Raiders and you love Daily Raiders content, hit that subscribe button. Help us grow and be the most dominant Raiders podcast out there on YouTube. Thank you so much for everything you guys do. Make sure that you like this video, help it to get out. If we hit a thousand likes, I might do another giveaway. I just gave away $500 worth of stuff last night. Let's do this. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and comment down below draft 2025. If we get a thousand likes on this video and we get 500 comments on this video, I'll do another giveaway, a surprise, and one of you might win as I'll pick your comment randomly. If Carter Minshew continues to have a poor performance week after week, as Carter Bradley will now inevitably be moved up from the practice squad and be QB2, that means he has a chance to actually take over the starting position, especially if the Raiders lose against the Kansas City Chiefs next week, that's going to give Carter Bradley a couple of weeks with the bye week coming up to get more familiar with this offense and the first team reps. And that means that he could come out of the bye week as QB1, which makes perfect sense because the Raiders will have absolutely nothing to lose. You're not going to make the playoffs. And what else can you do? You might as well throw the young undrafted quarterback in and simply see what he can do with this Raiders offense. Do you have something there? Could he be the next Brock Purdy? Is he better than Aiden O'Connell? Well, I think he would definitely be better than Gardner Minshew. Just about anybody is better than Gardner Minshew at this point. Just to add a little bit of salt into the wound, if anybody checked it out, Russell Wilson had a resurgence of his career with the Pittsburgh Steelers last night against the New York Jets. And yes, Devontae Adams was caught sitting on the bench with that all familiar look of, I wish I could be traded to a different team. I don't want to be here. Why? Because the Jets now have pretty much no shot of making the playoffs either. And so... I guess you uh, you get what you ask for. You wanted to go to a team who had the same record as the Raiders and the same chances of not making the playoffs as the Raiders, and now it looks like you're unhappy again. Well, I don't know, but for me, it's kind of bittersweet as he wanted to leave the Raiders. He didn't want to stick it out with the Raiders, and now he's with arguably even a worse team with a quarterback who's definitely not going to be there next year. The sad thing is the Jets will most likely be in the hunt for a top five pick in the draft next year, which means we now have about six teams who are going to be all fighting over a quarterback and it's going to be a scramble on quarterbacks yet again. I'm not sure if the Raiders should even try to win another game. We should do everything we can to get that number one overall draft pick because this season is an absolute bust. What I don't want to see is Max Crosby go anywhere. I know that he has said that, you know, if it wasn't the Raiders, he would love to play for the Lions in the past on his own Rush podcast. I know that there's a lot of rumors out there that the Detroit Lions are trying to swoop him up as they just had their star defensive end go down with a broken leg for the rest of the year. And broken legs can be really problematic. Will Aiden Hutchinson even be as good as he once was when he comes off of that injury? Well, if you trade for a Max Crosby, you're getting a guy who's only 27 years old at the top of his game and giving up a couple first round draft picks for him would simply make sense when you're trying to make a Super Bowl run. That's going to be very enticing to the Las Vegas Raiders because we're going to need multiple first round draft picks if we're not the number one overall to go up and get our future franchise quarterback, which we absolutely need at this point. I just hope it doesn't happen and I hope it doesn't happen for this reason. 
Again, Max Crosby is only 27. Again, Max Crosby is at the top of his career. And we brought in Christian Wilkins in order to line up next to him. When Wilkins comes off of his foot injury, these two are going to be a dynamic duo for years to come. That's going to make our defense very dominant and very good for years to come. If we go and get rid of him, that's going to be a bad signal to Christian Wilkins. And we're not going to have any replacement for Max Crosby. These guys come once in a decade. They're not very often that you're going to find a guy in a late fourth round draft pick who turns out to be one of the best in the NFL. So please, Raiders and Raider organization, if you come across this, get any thoughts out of your head of trading Max Crosby. Let's figure out what else we can do to get that quarterback situation solved in the draft.